Welcome to Blender. In this video we're going to make a butterfly using the mirror and solidify modifiers and also a small intro to Bezier curves. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is go find us some butterfly images. So I'm going to fire up the internet and search for public domain butterfly images and go to images and just find one that's got a top view uh, because we're going to use it to texture the wings so when you find one you like just go ahead and save it um, I like this blue one so I'm going to click on it I'm just going to gazo it and when that opens up I'm going to save it as a desktop and we also need a uh, butterfly parts. Diagram. And I'm going to use this one. So, uh, I'm going to gather that too because saving images sometimes sends me web links instead of photos. And click that right click save image as desktop. Close that and I'm gonna minimize Blender a little bit and I'm just gonna grab this left click, drag it in there and drop it. And the same with the other one. And now we can we can go ahead and delete all this. So all that and hit X delete and click on the one and hold Alt G and Alt R. And then I'm going to rotate it on the X by 90. And yeah, that's front view. I'm going to GY move it back and do the same with this one. Alt R and Alt G. R X 90. And GY and move it back a little bit. And this one, now I'm going to hit one on the number pad. And I'm going to move this one over here just so I can see. And you know what, for now I'll just move him there, because we're going to build this first. Okay, we've got that in here. Now, some people have had issues where they're dragging uh, images in and it's not working. So there's an add-on. So go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Search, close that. Search up here for Images, and turn on Import, Export Images as Planes. Go down here. Make sure auto saves on. You can save preferences anyway. And close this window. Now when you hit Shift A, you have an image button here and you can go to images as planes. That'll open up a file explorer. Go to desktop, pick your image, double click it, and it's going to come in looking like that. But if you turn on your material preview, you'll see your image there and then you can proceed to RX90 and EY. And then if you need to, you can scale it up. Okay, we got our images in. I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. And we're going to start on the, the butterfly body here. Whoops. Butterfly body here. I'm going to move it a little closer. And I'm going to start with the main body part. So, Shift A, Mesh. Uh, I'm going to go for Round Cube. And go into my operator panel here and change the radius until it's kind of round. And I'm just going to leave everything else alone. Uh, right click it, shade smooth. We're going to go ahead and proportional edit this thing. So proportional editing is up here. The hotkey for it is O. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> I wasn't selected on something. Uh, o. And we're going to go here and Go into edit mode. I'm going to hit one on the number pad, make sure I'm straight. Alt Z to go into x ray mode, and I'm just kind of trying to shape this thing. Apparently, that got turned off. I'm going to turn it back on. Alt Z. I can't tell them I'm x ray. Ah, yeah, I'm in x ray mode. Okay, good. And we're just going to. Hit G and you can scroll your mouse wheel to scale this. 
we're just going to try to make that general shape and you want to make sure you're in x-ray mode that way uh, you select both sides at the same time and I think that looks fairly good so the next part I'm gonna make is uh, this back piece the spiracles no not spiracles the abdomen <laughs> Uh, so one on number pad to go into front view. I'm going to hide this for right now so we can actually see what we're doing when we bring in the uh, cylinder that I'm going to use to make that. So select it and hit H. Uh, I'm going to go back into solid view because I, when you go into x-ray mode, you can't really tell when you're in uh, render view or uh, material preview. So shift A, mesh, and we're going to use a cylinder. And it's, that starts at 32, take it down to 16. And we're going to rotate it on the Y by 90. And I'm going to move it over on, on the X axis to about right there. And then I'm going to Alt H to unhide my body part there. Select the cylinder again and we're going to move it down here. Uh, actually, I'm going to move it right here because I'm about to stretch it. So SX to make it a little longer. Probably about there. And move it on the X a little more. Uh, into edit mode and we're gonna make some loop cuts there's eight segments to this thing so I'm gonna do eight loop cuts and you can see that down at the bottom here there's it says number of cuts eight so we got eight and so left click to confirm it right click to drop it in the center and now I'm gonna hit uh, I'm in uh, edge select mode if you're not that's fine just go ahead and go into edge select mode you can hit two on the keyboard to do that and if you wasn't in x-ray mode or in um, edge select mode you'll have to uh, alt select one edge shift select the rest of the edges to actually select them otherwise it'll do stupid stuff because of the vertex mode uh, now I'm gonna hit control B to bevel it and you're going to start out with no loop cuts so bevel it and add one loop cut and we're just going to do something like right there now I want to alt select each outside edge and alt shift select to be able to select more than one and once we have all those selected we're just going to scale it down whoops I got proportional editing on turn that off scale it down That'll give you a shape like that. Go into x-ray mode. And I'm going to grab the outside edge here. And turn proportional editing back on. And scale that down a little bit. Probably there. And I'm going to grab. It's a little fatter like right here. So grab there. And scale that part up. And we'll grab over here and scale this up too. bit and grab the front scale it down and then I'm gonna grab this whole back section here and hit rotate make it bigger and just kind of do that and then drag it down on the Z and maybe rotate it a hair more something like that that doesn't look too bad uh, Alt Z to go back out of X-ray mode. And you can right-click, shade, smooth it, and that's not looking too horrible. Got some weird stuff going on here. So back in edge select mode, and oh, it's pushed very far in. That's why. So I'm gonna Alt select that edge, and I'm gonna hit GG and slide it out. Okay, I was just making sure proportional editing wasn't messing with this, and the same with that one. Just look in there and try to get a hold of it. That's not it. Where is it? Nope. There it is. And GG and slide that one out also until it fixes that normal issue with all that shading. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so one on the keyboard to go back into front view. And we're going to hide this again because it's going to be in our way. So just hide. Uh, Shift-A, Mesh, 
we're going to use a UV sphere to make the head. So UV sphere, and we'll turn this down probably to yeah 16. I like 16, and we'll crank this down to like. Let's do 10. And we can shade smooth that. And the poles are at the top. So I'm going to go into x ray mode. And I'm going to rotate on the x by 90, which will put the poles here. Turn off. Well, actually, we can leave proportional adding on because we're about to squish it around anyway. Um, I'm going to move it over here to where the. Oh, nope. Move it this way. And then go back in object mode. Alt H to unhide our thorax and select a sphere and we'll move it kinda into place here probably about there and we can proportional edit this so I'm gonna go back into vertex mode by hitting one my proportional editing still on kinda eyeball the head see what you want to do with it so I'm gonna scale it on the X a little bit rotate it a little bit scale it up a little bit And if you want to, you can go into x-ray mode and grab these and kind of give them a shove that way. Hit A, rotate the whole thing. Let's move it down a little bit. And I'm going to period on number pad so I can see it. That's very weird. So I'm going to scale it on the X again a little bit. Scale it on the Y a little bit. That's looking kind of okay. I'm going to grab this vertex. Actually, I'm going to go like this and grab both of those vertex. That way I can get both sides. And I'm going to scale them on the Y again a little bit. Just to kind of squish the head in a little bit. Oops. And that's looking pretty good. good. So we're going to need another one of those. So I'm just going to uh, back into object mode. Shift A. Mesh. UV sphere again. It still has the same settings. So I'm good with that. Hit one on the number pad. And move it over to where it belongs. And hit three on the number pad. And nine for the other side. And I'm going to GY. Just move it out like this, and then three or one again, and I'm going to shade smooth that. And I'm going to leave the uh, poles at the top this time, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit, grab the two poles, and scale it on the Z. probably be a better idea to scale that on the Z before I rotate it. So before I rotate it, I'm going to do, do the scaling. So I'm just kind of lining those up so I can just grab both of them. S Z, scale them up a little bit. I think that's a good eyeball shape. Hit one on the number pad, or nope, three on the number pad. And we're just going to delete the right side of it. So everything on the right side of the center and just delete vertices. That'll give us half an eyeball there. And back out of x-ray mode. One number pad. Hit A. I'm going to turn proportional editing off so I don't need it no more. Rotate it a little bit. Uh, position it a little better. Scale it down. I'm going to scale it on that Y also to flatten it out some. And just try to get it up against there. If you don't like the shape of it, you can always just proportional edit it some more. Uh, and I think I will. So, one on the keyboard. Back in x-ray mode. Proportional editing on. I'm going to grab these. And just kind of push them in a little bit. And I think I want the whole thing rotated some more. So, I think that looks good. I think it needs to be a little bigger. 
since the eyeball takes up pretty much the whole head. That looks pretty good. I like it. Let's see. Tab. So we've got our eyeball made, our head made, our thorax, and our, our abdomen and our thorax made. So we've got all that done. I think his body's a little too wide, so you know, give it a little rotate around, take a look at it, make sure you're happy with everything. Uh, I'm going to select my body and I'm going to scale it on the wide just a little bit because this just looks too wide to me. And I'm happy with that. 